This video will demonstrate identifying duplicate bibliographic records and merging them using record buckets in Sitka's Evergreen. As you work with the catalog in Sitka's Evergreen, whether you're searching for a book for a patron or cataloging new items, you may come across titles that have multiple results, some of which may be duplicates. If you're confident that the records are duplicates with the same title, format, edition, etc., you can merge the records together. When merging records together, remember, records for different formats should never be merged together. Records for physical items are never considered to be a match for e-resources and vice versa, and records for regular print and large print should never be merged together. Here we've done a search that has returned three records that look very similar based on the brief description and format icons in the search results. We'll select the checkboxes for the results, which puts them into our basket. From the Basket Actions drop-down menu, we select Add Basket to Bucket. Now we can create a new record bucket. We click on New Bucket and give it a name. We recommend using the title as the name of the bucket. Click Add to New Bucket. To access our bucket, we go to Cataloging, Record Buckets. From the Buckets drop-down menu, we can select our bucket and the records in the bucket will display. It's very important to double check to make sure all records in the bucket should be merged together and that there are no unwanted records in the bucket. You can see at a glance if a record for a completely different title has been inadvertently added to the bucket. If this happens, select the record and then from the Actions menu, select Remove Selected Record from Bucket. Now, we'll select all the records in the bucket and from the Actions menu, choose Merge Selected Records. It's important to note that we're not necessarily going to merge all of these records together as we don't actually know yet whether they are true matches. What we have with the Merge Records interface is a place where we can easily compare the records. We need to look at the three records carefully. The first step is to determine if all the records are actually for the same unique title. In this case, we can see based on the title, physical description, and general note that one of these records is for a story kit, which includes the book and puppets, and not just the book. We don't want to merge it with the others, so we'll click Remove from Consideration. We now need to decide which of the two remaining records is the best record, so that we can use it as the lead record. Sitka's Evergreen Policy and Best Practices Manual has a section called Characteristics of a Best Mark Record in the Sitka Database, which can help you determine which is the best record. We'll leave the merge profile as Keep Local Fields. Any 050, 055, 092, 590, 595, 690, 852, and 856 fields will be copied into the lead record. In this case, this is the record which is the best, so we'll use it as the lead record by clicking Use as Lead Record. We can see that the 590 field has been copied into the lead record. We can now edit the lead record if needed. In general, you won't need to do this unless there's additional fields in the duplicate record that you think should be preserved in the lead record. Maybe there are additional subjects in the 650s of one record that you think should be kept. Remember, multiple libraries likely have their items attached to these records, so you need to make sure any changes are adding to the record rather than removing needed information. Now we click Merge. The two records are merged together and the lead record opens in a new tab. We can see the record has items from two libraries attached. If we go and open our bucket again, we can see that the non-lead record has been deleted and is marked as such in the bucket. Occasionally, records may be accidentally merged together that shouldn't be. For example, they have the same title but different authors. In those cases, 
please contact support as soon as possible so we can undo the merge for you. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.